Hello, this video is a bit different to us normal ones, in fact that it's about tetanus in dogs. So, this is about our dog, our, one of our dogs, um, they're both grounds as you can see. Now Tommy is the big black one, and Tommy has just had tetanus. So, what happened to start with, well, it was just normal, normal dog, just happy go lucky, and then we started to hear these squeaking noises on a night, which you might be able to just pick up in this video. What it was, what it, it seemed to be uncomfy on a night. Um, just odd squeaks here and there, just couldn't, just a bit re restless. Um, so this went on for about a week or two and then he started limping a bit on walks so we decided we'd take him to the vets because we thought it might be arthritis or just because he's getting old he's, he's about eight now so he's, he's getting you know he's knocking on for a greyhound uh, so we took him to the vets and they put him on Metacam uh, thinking it were arthritis as well so after about four or five days on Metacam we realised he'd started drooling and he wasn't getting any better. We expected to see improvements within 48 hours maybe. So we took him off a Metacam because we'd, it wasn't doing him any good. In fact, he looked worse. About three or four days after that, we decided to take him back to but He wasn't getting any better and he'd come off Metacam. So he wasn't actually getting any better. We couldn't see any improvement. Now, the vets asked us the first time, had we seen any cuts on him, which we hadn't. And when we come to him the second time, um, they asked us if we'd seen any cuts and they checked him out and I said to him look you could poke him in the eye and he wouldn't he wouldn't blink um, and that's when they really started to worry about him so they took him off us and took him um, put him on a drip and did a, lot, a few tests on him blood tests and what have you eventually they come up with theory it could be tetanus it could have been either neurological brain or tetanus now tetanus is very rare in dogs so the vet were really good and she got in touch with consultants and all that lot and they all basically thought it was tetanus so when they took him off as they put him on um on a drip and pumped him full of antitoxins and this went on for about a week it would touch and go with we really thought we'd lost him when you see i mean these these videos of ours aren't graphic at all because to be honest it, at the point when it happens you're so worried about your dog that the last thing you want to do is film your dog on on basically dying. Now, while they were at vets and all this is going on, they gave us a, a guarded prognosis, which basically means it could go either way. Um, could lose him, could get better. But they did warn us if we did get him back, it would be a long, long road to recovery. Uh, involving lots of love, um, rest, you know, try, trying to get him back on his feet again. And also, because he couldn't blink, it meant putting in eye drops every two hours. While we were at vets, a few other problems cropped up, such as his appetite. Um, he couldn't sleep properly there because of all other animals. So... Liz went to see him on a few occasions just to take him out for a little walk, a little poddle around woods. And he'd eat for her, he'd eat little tidbits, she'd take him little bits of beef, beef slices, stuff like that, just just something to just to give him a bit of an appetite. And the vets decided in the end that it would be better if he came home, because um, they could see that every time she came, he improved. So they did warn as it were it were gonna be hard on us, and so he came on. So here's a still picture of Tommy while they were at vets. So you can see he looks fairly normal until you look at his lip. So his lip is still sagging. Uh, you can probably see a little bit of drool. Also his eyes is not blinking and also his ears are stuck in um, like a 45 degree. They're not moving at all. Tommy's just come home from vets. And how? I went mad, but obviously can't film it. So, what is it? Eighth of March. She so still can't blink properly, but he's looking good. He's got his little sheep bandage on. He's just had a lot of sausages and stuff. Cooking him some beef. 
trying to get a bit of an appetite going again. Otherwise, you're looking good, isn't you? You know what owls like. <laughs> She wants a bit of attention in now because Tommy's getting attention. Right, so this Tom on Sunday. Hey, <laughs> Tom. He's just had his breakfast <clears throat> and his pills, so he's um, a bit zonked now. Um, slept downstairs with him last night. Don't know. Don't know what to think yet. Don't want to give up on him, do we? No. He's had a bit of something to eat in that lot. So we shall see. This is Tom now, after Alice has just come back home. Where Mum? And he's, um, he's perky as hell. Who knows? No, we've got him back for three weeks. Because we had him home a week, didn't we? We got him on a Friday. Oh no, did he go? I think he's been home two weeks. Yeah, maybe two weeks then. Aren't you Tom? Maybe I'm thinking it's longer. He's been home two weeks. Let's have a look at your face. There's his face, there's his face. His eyes still aren't working properly, but they're a lot better. That's for that thing there, well. You're on your walk. Come to Tom. Just been back two weeks. Right, so Tommy boy's just been to the vets. And she's really chuffed with him. He's doing well. Uh, she's happy with his progress, so he's got another appointment in a month. Uh, he's just had a wee, hasn't he, lad? <laughs> he's just had his tea. Da -da -da. Oh, he's off out again. Where's he going now? He's going to go and rub up against the thing. You alright, Tom? Get the dribble coming off him. Very good, get that off his. Look at the state of his chops. Let's get that dribble off your chops, hey? Yeah, dribbly chops. Is that what we call him? Otherwise, he's doing really well. Yeah, he's just rubbing himself up against the fence as usual. His favourite job. She said he looked like a seal. He's that shiny. Just had um, cauliflower cheese and beef and that for his tea. Come on, Tom. <laughs> He's not going to do it tonight. Join us on the prowl for the lesser spotted ground. Ah, here he is. He's brought him back. Now then, you have to watch these things because they can pounce at any moment. Oh, his little legs are going, you see, your nose. Know. Here he is. Get them teeth ready for biting. Yeah. You'd think you were dead, but he actually is alive. <laughs> he actually is alive. Right then. Just come upstairs to find this. One feet, two feet. Oh, there's a third one there. Four feet. How tight's that?
and just so as other dog Alice don't feel like she's been left out, here's some clips of her. Enjoying yourself, eh? Come on then. Right, so as you can see, Tommy's come on in leaps and bounds. It has taken four months of being up every night, putting his eye drops in, my mum coming round, which I'll be forever grateful for, because we couldn't have coped without her. And yeah, you can pull them back, uh, but it does take a lot of doing, and it is uh, probably 50-50 at the beginning whether they'll pull through it or not. Uh, have we been lucky? <clears throat> I don't really know. It's very unlucky to get tetanus. How vets think he caught it was a cut and then walking him through fields with cow mucking. And that's got in his cup, but the cup could have already sealed by the time we get home. And then if you can watch YouTube and watch how tetanus works, but it's an horrible, it's an awful disease. It's an awful um, virus thing or whatever you want to class it as. Uh, so hopefully... Touch wood, he says as he touches some wood. We should be well on his way to a full cure.